five minutes. What? We were talking for like at least an hour. In a dream, your mind functions more quickly. Therefore, time seems to feel more slow. Five minutes in the real world gives you an hour in the dream. Why don't you see what you can get up to in five minutes? Slack jawed. She blinks and nods slowly. She leans back in the lounger. On the cobbled street. You got the basic layout. Bookstore, cafe, almost everything else is here too. Who are the people? Projections of my subconscious. Yours? Yes. Remember, you are the dreamer. You build this world. I am the subject. My mind populates it. You can literally talk to my subconscious. That's one of the ways we extract information from the subject. How else do you do it? By creating something secure like a like a bank vault or a jail, the mind automatically fills it with information it's trying to protect. Understand? Then you break in and steal it. Well. I guess I thought that the dream space would be all about the visual, but it's more about the feel of it. My question is, what happens when you start messing with the physics of it? She comes to a halt and stares down the street. Cobb stops behind her. She watches as the ground, with all the buildings still firmly attached to it, rises like a drawbridge being lifted. Cobb glances from the spectacle to Ariadne. The ground and the buildings are at 90 degrees, and the streets intersecting the buildings look like a maze. The ground continues to fold over until the roofs of the buildings on the moving side meet the roofs of the buildings on the stationary side. They fit neatly over the buildings, with people strolling the streets upside down above them. Something, isn't it? Yes, it is. Upside down cars drive along the streets above them. Ariadne strides along, followed by Cobb. They reach the folding point where the road continues perpendicular to the part of the road they're on. They step onto it and seem to defy gravity as they walk, their bodies parallel to the original part of the road. They approach crossroads with a monument in the center. Cars drive vertically down a road on one side of the monument. People pass them. Why are they all looking at me? Because my subconscious feels that someone else is creating this world. The more you change things, the quicker the projections start to converge on them. Converge? They sense the foreign nature of the dreamer. They attack like white blood cells fighting an infection. Like they're going to attack us? No. He smiles cruelly. A bridge rises out of the ground. This is great, but I'm telling you, if you keep changing things like this... She jogs up steps onto the bridge. A woman barges her. Is mind telling your subconscious to take it easy? It's my subconscious. Remember, I can't control it. Ariadne jogs down steps at the other end of the bridge. She pauses under a stone archway and fidgets. Cobb watches as she pulls on a handle on a huge mirrored door. She moves it into a metal frame. Cobb studies his reflection in the door. Ariadne heads behind him and yanks on the handle of another huge mirrored door and moves it so that it sits between its two metal posts. The door reflects the first door, the posts, and the cycle lane in between, a hundredfold, so that it looks like a colonnade reaching to infinity. Frowning, Cobb looks from side to side. Ariadne stands in front of one of the mirrored doors, puts her fingertips onto it, and... The glass shatters. Behind it is a colonnade. Very impressive. The colonnade runs over a river. It's the underside of a bridge. Cobb sees himself with Mole by the river. They canoodle and laugh happily. I know this bridge. This place is real, isn't it? Yeah, I cross it every day to get to the college. Never recreate places from your memory. Always imagine new places. Well, you gotta draw from stuff you know, right? Only use details, uh, a, a street lamp or a phone booth, never entire areas. Why not? Because building a dream from your memory is the easiest way to lose your grasp on what's real and what is a dream. Is that what happened to you? Listen, this has nothing to do with you, understand? Is that why you need me to build your dreams? Get off of me. Back up. Hey! Back up! Mom! Get off! Mom! Where'd he go? Mom! Where'd he go? Come on! 